Good afternoon, Year 7. Um, before we get on to today's uh, village, village project, I want you to uh, think again about the wind in the willows. In the last two now, for the last lesson, we looked at the themes of the wind in the willows. Remember, a theme is an abstract idea that's expressed by the story. Uh, for example, um, in Romeo and Juliet, love is a theme. So that's an abstract idea, love, isn't it? And uh, it, what the writer thinks about that theme is expressed through the writing. So uh, we came up with the wind in the willows for home, uh, friendship, actions and consequences, um, adventure and various other ones that I'm sure you came up with, you, uh, came up with yourself. Uh, today I want you to write a short paragraph explaining which theme you think is the most important and why. And I want you to include a quotation. I'll give you five minutes to do that. Our learning objective today is to write persuasively and convince the villagers that our project or our idea deserves funds. That learning objective will make a bit more sense once we get into the lesson. Uh, your title is Persuading the Villagers that Our Project or Idea Deserves Funding. Um, we're going to be um, having a kind of a village meeting now in which your character is going to pitch their idea. What it is, they, there's a certain amount of funds, certain amount of money available, and you're going to pitch your idea um, and uh, you know try and get those funds for what it is that you want to happen in the village. It might be you want the potholes uh, filled in outside your business. It might be that you want some street lighting up a dark road uh, or, or anything like that. So we'll, we'll come to the ideas part in just a minute. So write, uh, write that title in and we'll go on to the next slide. Now I want you to write a list of ideas in your book that you should think should be on the agenda for the meeting. An agenda is just a list of, of things to discuss. So I already talked about a few there. It could be potholes in the road, it could be street lighting, it could be uh, a youth club for the young people to go to in the evenings. Um, it could be more funding for the school. It could be a car park for the shops, um, Christmas lights maybe, something like that. So make as long a list as you can uh, for things that you think should be on the agenda. And I'll give you 10 minutes to do that. Now you can add your um, add three of yours to this. Um, but here's the one that uh, that I've come up with. Um, the rise of crime in the village. That is a problem for us because we've talked about the uh, about the burglaries that have been going on. Uh, vandalism, shoplifting and pickpockets uh, are a problem on top of that. Uh, underage drinking in the village. Don't like that. We need to do something about that. And that could feed into the uh, sort of youth club that we were talking about just a second ago. Village business closures. So shops going out of business because... Um, you know, people buy things online or, as I said earlier, they can't um, find anywhere to park. So quite often, you know, how often have you driven into a place and thought that um, or been in the car when you've gone into a place? You know, oh, that looks like a nice shop, but there's nowhere to park. So you end up just driving on shortage of village funds in general. Um, and those shop closures have unfortunately led to, uh, to some people being out of work. So possibly we want to invest in looking at some uh, apprenticeships for some of the young people that have come out of those shops who've now got nowhere to work. And uh, I thought um, it'd be interesting if we had, uh, if the squirrels were endangered, um, we need to uh, maybe get a squirrel sanctuary or um, something to uh, to protect the squirrels, which um, appear to be leaving the village for whatever reason. We don't really know why. We probably need to uh, get some uh, some scientists out to find out why that is. Extra buses, always good, stop people uh, driving everywhere. And AOB simply stands for any other business. And that's where we can put your three from your list. So write that, uh, write that into your books and I'll give you 10 minutes to do that. Now, we are becoming very, very good at persuasive writing now. All the uh, material that I've, all the speeches, all the work that I've received uh, tells me that, which is brilliant. Um, because by the time you get to do your GCSE in year 11, um, you will have 25% uh, of the uh, exam nailed. You're that good at it. Um, but what you need to do now is just prepare a very short speech. Imagine that you're standing up in a, you know, there's a big table and all the people from the village are sitting around it. And you're going to, uh, when it comes to your part on the agenda, you're going to stand up and speak and persuade people that whatever project is that you've chosen, 
um, is the one that needs uh, some funds to help it. So if you want, um, you know, maybe you uh, want the um, the police to have more money so they can have more patrols, you could talk about that, um, or whatever, whichever one you pick, you can pick one either from the list on the previous slide or one from the uh, from the exercise you did at the start of the lesson. So the goal here, or the task, is to write a very short, well, I'd, I'd say about half a, half a page, persuasive speech that, um, persuading people that your project is the one that needs the money and I will look forward to reading those. You are superstar persuasive writers these days. So um, I'm feeling relentlessly persuaded whenever I see your work. So I'm gonna give you uh, 20 minutes to do that and then go on to the next slide. The next slide has uh, some uh, rather unfortunate news, I'm afraid, Year 7, so brace yourselves. Well, here it is, Year 7. Here's the uh, bad news, and it really couldn't be any worse. Uh, Heath Row, which is um, quite near to our village, um, are building a new runway. It's right on top of our village. It's not um, the, the runway, that is. It's not um, nearby. It isn't a noise pollution problem. They're going to have to flatten our village completely. It will disappear from the face of the earth. Everything will be demolished and everybody will have to move away. All the community that's been built, all the um you know all the lovely buildings and businesses and lives and so on we're all gonna have to move away um so the rest of our time is going to be spent uh protesting and uh, against that now between now and the next lesson i want you to think about how it is we might be able to fend this off stop this happening uh nothing illegal of course i don't want any um any uh, underhand tactics we need to think about how we can um, unite and protest and stop this happening um, you don't need to do anything, just think about it and we'll uh, um, get into the things that we're going to do next time. So we're, we're trying to save Popemere um, and uh, I look forward to talking to you next time about that. Sorry to leave you with such bad news, but uh, think about how it is that maybe we can change that.